Hi and welcome in this video. Today I talk about the best lens for landscape photography. This is the first kind of a video where I talk about different kind of lenses out on the market for different purposes, which one I prefer and uh, what you should look for when you think about buying a lens for a certain purpose. And today the topic is landscape photography and for that I use an ultra wide angle lens. You can use other lenses as well, but this is my yeah, thing which I love for landscape photography, an ultra wide angle lens. So what is ultra wide angle? Ultra wide angle means it's ultra wide uh, with the things you see. So when you imagine you see a scenery, a mountain or you are somewhere at a nice other landscape at the sea, you want to see much of the scenery in the image and for that I use an ultra wide angle lens. In my case for example I use a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. This is for full frame so 16 to 35 is a perfect focal length and a perfect super wide angle lens for landscape photography on full frame cameras. For APS-C I used many years the 11 to 16 millimeters um, lens from Tokina. So 11 to 16, 10 to 18 or 10 to 20 or whatever is out there on the market is perfect for landscape shots with an APS-C camera. So that's about the focal length. There is some special things what I think about when I buy a lens for landscape photography. One thing is the f-stop. Just with like every lens the most open aperture can be important. In landscape photography and especially in my case it's that I photograph a lot of times with a closed aperture. So when I'm shooting at day with ND filters or with a polarizer graduated filter and stuff I usually don't need an open aperture. That's why I can totally be fine let's say with this lens here a 16 to 35 4.0. This is a Sony lens but they are out for Canon, for Nikon and other brands as well and not only by the original brand or company but as well from third party like Sigma, Tamron and what else is out on the market. And this is actually the lens that I used for yeah one and a half year, uh, years now. Um, that's the lens I use most of the times because it's smaller. It's 16 to 35. It has a 4.0 open aperture. So in most of the landscape situations, it's pretty cool to shoot with that lens. But when you think about shooting maybe stars, astrophotography, more at night, you can think about buying a 16 to 35 2.8 maximum open aperture. 2.8 is quite cool and you can for example shoot nice Milky Way shots with that, northern lights, but northern lights I do sometimes as well with 4.0 that's totally fine, but for stars and stuff you will need a 2.8 or even more open aperture like 1.4, 1.8 or something like this. So when you think about I want to shoot nightscapes as well, then maybe invest in a 2.8. It's much more expensive, it's heavier, it's bigger usually from the diameter in the front and yeah when that is not a problem for you then take a 2.8. You can still close the aperture with that but have the open aperture when you actually need it. This Tokina lens for example which I used many years with an APS-C camera is an 11 to 60 millimeters 2.8 as well and costs something around 500 euro. Um, I use as well now with the A6000 the Samyang 12 millimeter 2.0 which is cool for stars, which is cool for landscape, also cool for lifestyle shots. So this is a great lens as well. So there are zoom lenses out on the market, there are fixed lenses as well so only with one focus length for example like the 12 millimeter or 40 millimeter 2.8 or something like this and this is amazing. I personally like 16 millimeter. There are 14 millimeters for full frame or let's say 8 millimeters for APS-C maybe as well out there on the market but for my taste 14 on full frame is too wide angled and for me it's hard to find a proper composition when I'm too wide angled. So for me perfect for landscape photography and the best lens for landscape photography is a 16 to 35 millimeter lens and then 
either with 4.0 or 2.8, depending what you want to photograph most. Just as mentioned, more night skies, maybe 2.8. And if you're only shooting a day or are small on a budget, just take a 4.0. And maybe you can as well invest later in a night lens because there are fixed lenses out as well, like 20 millimeter 1.4 or 16, I think is now out as well by Sigma with a 1.8 or 1.4, I'm not sure about that. Uh, did not check it properly, but yeah, that would be an option as well. Then you have two lenses. But in most of the situations, 16 to 35, best lens for landscape photography. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and quick commercial. If you want to learn more about landscape photography, check out learnfromben.com. This is my website and there we have a whole course filmed in the beautiful landscape of Norway about the landscape photography essentials. I teach you in that video course. There's as well a video course about image editing of landscape photos. And soon there will be a course filmed in Iceland where I teach more advanced landscape photography techniques. Learnfromben.com. Uh, now I'm interested, what is your favorite uh, landscape photography lens? Do you have one? Write it in the comments below. And about what other lens should I make a video? Maybe about portrait, maybe about wildlife or sport. Just write it in the comments below. See you on the next video. Bye bye.